Good afternoon, everybody. Pastor Cord here. Hey, Pastor Michael. And we are, uh, we're so excited to be able to come to you today and just sort of give you some updates about where we are as a church um, in regard to the coronavirus. Uh, listen, we've said it over and over again, but these are really difficult times for people. Um, a lot of unknown, it seems to change on a day-to-day -day basis. Uh, a tremendous amount of anxiety and fear that uh, all of us are feeling at times, even in spite of knowing that God's in control. So we wanted to give you an update about where we're at when it comes to our weekend services. So we have decided as a leadership team that we are going to stay the course uh, from this past weekend through March 31st, where we're going to do only an online platform for our weekend services. We're gonna to continue to make those services available at 6.30 on Saturday, 9.30, 10.30, and 11.30 on Sunday. And so we wanna encourage you to be a part of uh, joining that weekend service on our online platform. All other in-person activities on all of our campuses are canceled through March 31st. Uh, and so we wanna keep you aware of what's going on. It, like I said, it changes on a regular basis. We'll update you if those things change uh, any further. Also wanna let you know our thrift store and our food pantries on the Ormond campus and the Palm Bay campus are still open uh, because we believe that meeting the needs of people in this time is, is extremely, extremely important. Our offices are open as well on our campuses. So if you have a need as a church member, please feel free to reach out to the church office and we'll do everything we can to, uh, to try to meet your need and help you, uh, help you where you're at. Uh, one of the things that we really want to try to focus on during this time is being a stronger church when this is over than when we went into it. Uh, and that's why Pastor Michael's here to sort of give you some information on how we're going to try to do that. Yeah, these are certainly strange days to, to say the least. And we want to make certain that as a church, we stay as connected uh, and encouraged as possible while continuing to be the church, uh, even in these days when we have to do things a little differently. So. We're gonna use our community groups platform as an opportunity to provide gatherings where we can still be together, uh, at least within the, the realms of what the guidelines allow for. So uh, we have sent information to all of our community group leaders on all three campuses. So your group leader has information about the, the options and the possibilities for how your group can continue to meet together. We've laid that out as to how your group can uh, either use the weekend worship stream or how you can continue to use your group studies. Uh, another option, if your group doesn't want to get together but would still like to get together, uh, there are technological opportunities, right? You can use Facebook, Zoom, Google Groups, all types of things are out there. So if you would like to use a, a, an electronic or technology platform, if you'll just contact us, just reach out to, uh, to the church office on any of the campuses and we will make certain that we work with you and your group to set up the platform uh, for an online group that you can continue, continue to meet together. And so we love you guys. We appreciate uh, how you love the Lord and how you are loving your neighbors. And uh, let's not forsake that opportunity. Jesus said to love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength and to love your neighbor as yourself. So don't forsake the opportunity to really physically love on your neighbors uh, and take care of one another in these days as we walk through the next few weeks. Michael, thanks for being here. Yeah, thank and you. Uh, you guys have a good week. And remember, we're here for you and we're praying for you. And we love being your pastor.